To all gamers, heto na. So, what is Bachelor of Science in Esports? So, we could be seeing this degree very soon. Let's talk about it here in Tech Course Meetings. Very trending these past few days about the ongoing work and collaboration of Tier 1 Entertainment. Ang Tier 1 is a uh, gaming and talent esports agency which is co-founded by uh, Alojo Gosheng Tiao. And uh, the Lyceum of the Philippines University in uh, finalizing the draft uh, drafted curriculum for uh, the four-year program called Bachelor of Science in Esports. So this degree course will have two tracks uh, for the student to choose from. Uh, first is uh, game design and second is esports management. So according to Tier 1, they are 80% done in the curriculum and will be submitted to CHED on uh, March 4, 2020. So if approved, boom! And yung savage. So, very exciting tong course na to para sa inyo, especially yung may mga gusto ng gaming. According to Facebook post of Tier 1, their goal is to create more opportunities for gamers in Asia. And that's why aside from the degree in esports, which is a four-year degree or rather program, uh, they are also working with another program which is associated esports and game design, which is a two-year program. Esports degrees are already offered abroad focusing on business and management side of this growing industry. Pero nung nabalita siya dito sa Pilipinas na may possibility na i-offer siya, um, there are mixed reaction from the public. Uh, some say how it would be different from game development and other related programs. Here in the Philippines are several colleges and universities offering game and development courses, Bachelor of Science in Entertainment Multimedia Computing or BSEMC, which has two specializations. Um, first, game development, which prefers to students to be a game development professionals, which has specialized knowledge, competencies, and values in designing, developing and producing digital games and or tools and in managing game development project for various applications. The second one is the digital animation technology. This prepares students to be a digital animation professionals who are equipped with both creative and technical knowledge, skills, and values in conceptualizing, designing, and producing animation products and solutions, and in managing such projects over different technology platforms. So, ang mga schools na nag offer sa Pilipinas ng game development ay Asia Pacific College sa Makati, CIIT or College of Arts and Technology in Quezon City, Colegio de San Juan de Letran in Laguna, De La Salle College of St. Benilde in Manila, De La Salle University, Laguna, FEU Institute of Technology in Manila, I Academy in Makati, Mapua University in Makati, and uh, University of the East in Manila. On the other hand, according to Tier 1, itong BS Esport is concerned with the back-end operation of esports, such as uh, team ownership, broadcasting, and marketing. As of now, ang nakita natin na details about the two tracks under esports are esports management track and game design development track. They said that this is not designed to develop pro players. Um, they showed the jobs that will be available for the graduates of this course. Um, this esports industry is expected to become a 1.5 billion industry by 2023. Itong esports curriculum design ay uh, sabi ko nga kanina ay merong dalawang two tracks. Esports management track na ito yung mga pwedeng natin maging trabaho. Pwede tayong maging team manager or owner, marketing or PR executive, community or social media manager, sales, partnership manager, Esports agent, event manager, production executive, production or broadcasting, marketing manager, or market researcher. Uh, as a after completing the game design development track, naman so pwede tayong pumasok as a game designer, game tester, video game designer, software developer, animation engineer, lead game programmer or developer, associate game quality assurance video game quality assurance engineer, 
Associate Technical Director, Senior Game Sound Engineer, Graphics Programmer, and a Technical Support Engineer. Again, we still need to wait for what will happen next after they submit this course to the review committee of CHED. But one thing is for sure that the esports industry has a great future for students who want to enter this industry. I hope you learned something about this proposed trending course in esports. Um, we want to hear uh, your thoughts about this proposed course, so please leave a comment on the comment section. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to TechCourse PH. And please hit the bell icon to keep you posted on our latest videos. Victory!